Hi, it's Richard. I've just had a package delivered. Um, I should be excited about this one, but to be honest, um, I'm not. <laughs> and uh, I'll get into that in a moment. But first, while I've got it, I might as well do an unboxing. So, here it is, finally, after all this time. The Intrepid 4x5 field camera. Strange thing that's protecting the ground glass. Have some stickers, a pin badge, and to add insult to injury, a note. So apparently these are supposed to be an upgrade to uh, what they previously had on the design. There's some kind of 3D printed plastic, but to be honest, they look like the things you put in drawers to strengthen the corners. But <coughs> we'll give it a go. Another thing to note, So as you can see, the quality control isn't exactly what you would call amazing, very poor. So I don't want it to seem that I'm bashing on uh, Intrepid, but uh, my journey into 4x5 has been a bit tainted because of it. I placed my order for this 4x5 on the uh, 9th of October. It's now the 15th of December and I get my camera. So 
eight and a half week wait. I know um, subsequently that they've actually moved factories and obviously they had the Kickstarter to sort out. But one thing that I did find very annoying is the lack of an update and the lack of information on when we would actually get a camera. Um, they replied to my comment on uh, Nico, Nico's photography's uh, post saying that they answered my emails but yeah you did but that was when I actually emailed you to find out when and why I haven't got my camera. So anyway not to bash on but <laughs> the other thing that takes the biscuit um, <clears throat> not only is my camera nearly six weeks late but I get a lovely handwritten card saying sorry you're missing one copal one lens board we will get this shipped to you next week best intrepid camera magic so not only am I nearly nine weeks waiting for my camera I have no idea when I'll get a lens board so I can actually use the camera so yeah if anyone's thinking about going into uh, 4x5 I'd probably either wait until all of the Kickstarter 8x10 cameras are sorted out and hopefully they might get their ass into gear and uh, sort out the issues with customer service and uh, yeah, delivering cameras on time. The other thing that I pointed out in this video is the split wood which it's not a big thing but you buy a camera and the quality is not amazing. I know it's a plywood camera so it's supposed to be cheap but yeah the attention to detail fit and finish is not amazing. But yeah anyway I'd like to uh, kickstart my series into my journey with 4x5 camera but again I'm waiting, waiting for a lens board so I can actually uh, get going. So yeah, as and when I get my lens board, I can uh, start my journey and learn 4x5. I'm not actually going to do a review on the uh, Intrepid camera because there's plenty out there and uh, Ben Horn did a lot better job than I will probably do. So yeah, for me, I'm just going to go out and actually track my uh, progress learning 4x5 and learning how to shoot it and uh, all of the things that I probably get wrong and uh, discover on the way. So yeah, hopefully uh, I can start taking pictures before Christmas, but who knows.